Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. In this video, I will show you on how you can use your calculator to um, directly input two sets of data and retrieve some important information from the calculator in order for you to conduct um, analysis for simple linear regression. Okay, right, so I'm, I'm going to use this uh, data from tutorial 5, question 5. So in in this data here, we can um, the amount of chemical is the independent variable, which is our x, and the contrast index is our dependent variable, which is our y. Okay, so we're gonna use um, I mean I'm gonna use calculator 570 uh, ES. Uh, so those who have a similar calculator version as to mine here, you can follow my instruction. Right. So first, you're gonna go to mode. And then you will select statistics, which is number three here. And I'm going to choose the second option, which is A plus BX, because we need to uh, input two sets of data. So I'm going to click on two. There you have two columns. The first column is for your independent variable. And the second column is for your dependent variable. So I'm going to start uh, put input the first data first. Okay, equal 1.5, equal 2.0, equal 2.5, equal. So this is going to take a while, so bear with me. Oops, made a mistake there. Why did I choose to use this data? Right, so now we have 9 data for X. Is it 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's only 8. How come I got 9? Oh, because there's no 3.5 in between here. So how do I delete that? Um, can I go up? Oh, I can. That's nice. Uh, there is no 3.5. So this is supposed to be 4.0. 4.5 and then 5.0 and I'll just delete this one okay so next let's go to y so I have 49 oops 60 66 so you can just fast forward this video if you think that this is um, taking your time away 89 90 and the last data is 96 Okay, right, so I have successfully um, input both data X and data Y into the calculator and now I'm going to click on AC and then you go to shift and what was it again? 1. Yep, shift 1 and you have these options. You can retrieve any information that you need from your calculator. So in order for you to calculate R, which is your correlation coefficient, you're going to need to uh, retrieve the information on the summation, right? Sum of x, sum of y, sum of x squared, all that. So you can get that from number 3 here. So I'm going to click on number 3. There you go. It's all provided here. Okay, so let's check uh, uh, sum of x squared, so number 1. 83.75, so it's also the same value as given in the um, question here so yeah it works the calculator works to um, retrieve this information for you so you need not construct that very elaborated table that you see in the book um, you can just use this function in your calculator okay you can even get your x bar and y bar from here you go to var there you go. You have the average for X and also average for Y. Okay, that's all for this video. Bye.